What is going on? I don't know if you heard that, but today we're going to talk about making 40 grand a month without Amazon, Facebook, or um, <clears throat> YouTube. I know it's kind of crazy. I'm going to show you proof that I actually did this. I wish I had taken more pictures, but hold on a second because we'll get into that because that's what people want to see. They want to see checks and numbers and stuff. So, all right. All right. So let's make it bigger. I had to get rid of. Oh, really? That's as big as it's going to get. I guess you could see that. Uh, this is from last year. Made out to Mac Daddy Media. $40,000, no cents. 40 k one month. You know, what's so special about that? Well, I used to make less than that per year. I remember when I first started at Northside Hospital. It was uh, 1991. I was making $28,000 per year. And that's with, you know, and probably like 30 something with overtime and stuff like that. That's why I was making a year. And it's just to show you that, and it takes some time. Let's to be really, really clear about this. It's going to take you some time, but if you put your mind to it and you s dedicate yourself to something worthy, something worthwhile, you can actually make more money in a month than you made in a year. Now, my next hat trick, which is probably going to take me about three years, is to make this in a day. And that's what I'm working on. So there it is. That's a real check. I hiled it out the numbers because we got scammers who will take those numbers and try to create checks and stuff. So if you're ever going to show a check online, make sure that you route out the account numbers and stuff like that just to be extra, extra safe and to be secure. So let's get into how do you make 40K per month without eBay, without uh, Facebook, without Amazon, without YouTube. Number one thing you have to do is become really, really good at something. You have to become good at something. This is one of these things that will pull on you in a different way. Now, there are people who are making this kind of money and more kind of money, well, this kind of money and more who don't do Facebook, who don't do Amazon, who don't do eBay. I'm serious. And I'm actually going to show you some of them. Hold on. Let's go to... Uh, you know how I'm always telling you that most of the world's commerce and trade is not online yet? It's really not online. It's not. And many people are just like, well, it's going to be. And there's a difference between going to be and currently online. There's a big difference. I remember watching this. Um, it's, oh, oh I, I have no clue to what <laughs> my LinkedIn password is. Because it's usually on the computer that I'm already logged in. Let's see if it. All right. Let's try this. All right. That didn't work. This is just going to completely mess up my presentation. Um, I have. Let's see. Let's try this. Don't you hate having to log in to something and like none of your passwords work? Like none of them. All right. And there's no way to see anything unless you're logged into LinkedIn, which is a pain in the butt. But uh, we will use LinkedIn in the uh, theory. Well, okay. I'm, I'm going to have to. Hold on a second. 
let me just see something here. I'm good because I, I actually kind of need this, but there are people in every field, in every occupation about, well, let's say technical. We're not talking about folks who are working in restaurants and stuff like this. Um, all right. They're making this kind of money or more as consultants. And one of the big issues that so many people have is they're not really good at anything. And this is one of the reasons that when people become good at eBay, it's hard for them to leave. When they become good at Amazon, it's hard for them to leave. When they become good at storage auctions, it's hard for them to leave. Because going through that process of becoming good at something again is rough. It's very, very rough. It is... <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, it's very very hard it takes a lot out of you and um, let's see hold on a second I, I gotta put something up here because it, it is wild right how often that I'll have my phone right next to me but you know since I'm trying to charge it I got to go get my phone so I can get into this LinkedIn account. Be right back. It wasn't gone too long, but, um, hmm. Unisplash just, um, uh, made a lot of money well they raised a lot of money but hold on a second oh you gotta be kidding me oh there we go it's just like I was about to have a fit here nope did not <laughs> that's not the password all right, <clears throat> Let, let's let's try this again. I tell you, man, it it is uh, it is kind of crazy when I am like looking for things. I have so many passwords, so many accounts. It is crazy. Let's see if that works. Oh, well, will you look at that? Well, look at that. Um, we're in there. Okay. <coughs> So there's my mug <clears throat> and here's someone here who she does most of her stuff on LinkedIn. I know Stephanie actually went to one of her events. Uh, you got Roberto. He's doing stuff on LinkedIn. If you do not know, <laughs> I like this money's the root of all evil. Cleanse yourself here. That's very funny. If you're trying to go B2B, sell to businesses, this is where you need to be. This is where you need to be to make that money because this is where business people are looking and LinkedIn is a very underutilized source to get stuff going on. Whoa, that was kind of sweet. That's pretty dope. All right, uh, I'm just strolling through here. But for the first steps, like I said, it's for you to become really good at something. And then the second thing that you need to do is learn how to market yourself. Oh, man, that is that's wow. I mean, people are going off in here. But 
you know, th this is kind of like YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram for business people. So this is one of the ways that you can, because uh, to think about, it, all right, and I'm going to just tell you this right here and right now. And it's going to sound very strange. There's a lot of business people who are not on Facebook. There's a lot of business people who don't pay any attention to YouTube. There's a lot of business people who are not on Amazon. Well, they, they are on Amazon, but you can't really get to them. So you've got to learn how to get to them. This is what you got to learn how to do. Call up on the phone or get in the DMs. Now, this is one of the things. Let's say you're really good at organization. All right. Let's use this as a case study and just go Oregon. I don't know. I really don't use LinkedIn that much for my business. So that's not going to find that. One of better things you could do is become very, very good at LinkedIn. <clears throat> Just becoming good at LinkedIn can make you money. And to prove that to you, um, I will introduce you to, you can go check on him. He actually became really good at LinkedIn, and that was his. That's what got him put on. Serious. He just became really good at LinkedIn, and he went crazy with it. Oh, I didn't know he was on Ellen. So he has uh, done a lot of stuff. He's put a lot of things out. He's met a lot of people. He became very good at LinkedIn when no one else was. And uh, let's go ahead and check his traffic. Let's see. I always do this because this is how you know people do stuff. Everyone can have a pretty website, right? But how much traffic are you getting, player? Boom. 400. For a personal brand, these are sick numbers. And we'll tell you something. If you have a website or a blog and you got 100,000 hits a month, you can make six figures or even seven. Let me say that again. Uh, when my book was selling at the best, I was getting 250K hits on my blog per month. I actually ran into it because I was bumping up on that limit of where we were going to have to go to a individual server. So you get to 100K hits on your blog, that's six figures, seven if you're super smart. And part of this is becoming a technician and becoming very adroit, very talented in one area, which is going to take some time because Lewis and the way he tells the story, I don't know if it's true or not, but he was he broke his leg. He played football. You see, I know his story so well because he's told it so many times. And while he was on his sister's sofa for six or seven months, he just started messing around with LinkedIn. That's all he did. He started messing around with it. He became good. Then he learned how to do it. Then he started meeting people. He started making money. Because he mastered LinkedIn. Right now, if you were to spend six months mastering Instagram, where you could put up an account and start instantly getting 100, 200 followers a day, you can be a consultant for Instagram. If you master YouTube, you can be a consultant for YouTube. If you master Facebook, you can be a consultant for Facebook. If you mastered sales, you can be a consultant for sales. But it is about mastery. And also, there's another component. I'm going to jump into the chat room because I know y'all are in there. And, um, well, I thought, oh, man, I, I completely messed up myself. Let's see what's going on. All right. Hold on a second. I have to get back and I'm going to have to close some of these windows because it will start slowing down. There we go. Yes, I started a little early. 
Uh, Jeff Ballantyne, I'm hoping to hit my first 20K month around July, which will be a month 19 in my business. I had not no idea how to expand past that, so I'm still looking forward to this. Now, let's take uh, Jeff's come in the part, which will be month 19. Not month 12, not month 1, not month 2, but month 19. And he hits this goal of 20K by July. And July to December, it's $120,000. Not including the income before July, but just the income, if he hits 20, maintains it to the end of the year. He will be in the top 8% of income in the United States of America. Top 8%. So, congratulations, Jeff. What's up, Owen? It? Taryn. What's up, Randall? Good morning. Keeter. The job industry will rape you. Well, we all getting raped until we learn how to grow our value. Wow. He's telling the truth. What's up, Nathan? What's up, Honey Bunny? Uh, Taryn, you don't need to find out what you're good at. You need to make yourself good at something else. It's a decision. It's a determination. Uh, trying to find something is a lot harder than creating something. Barry Bishop, what's going on? Mama needs her wine. Miami Ghost Chronicles. That's different. What's up? What's up, Stefan? Prince. <laughs> no, there is no hidden the block. What's up, Diana? What's up, Lamote? Man, it's just, I'm actually trying to shed some of these Gmail accounts. It, it, it is rough. Stadium status, go, she, dot, go. That's interesting. So either you're late to the show or I'm early. I'm early. Yeah, but I've had a problem with them. Like, okay, you, you don't really understand. I've probably got like 150 accounts, and I, I, I create problems for those apps. Everywhere else, finally pay for my LLC for my service industry businesses because I took your advice. Gee, and stop procrastinating. Just went out and did it. That usually is just, the, that's it. Just making a decision to go out and do it. Uh, let's see. Time to reset it. No, I actually figured it out. Andre Kelly, is it's hard to get services on, oh. Yeah, you truck drivers, you've got like another problem. What's up, young Brandon? Your professor made everyone create a LinkedIn account? Really? Wow. What's up, Al Gordon, Mark Case, Benton, Rashida? Yeah, no idea about LinkedIn? Um, wow, this this that's interesting. That's how he got his podcast. That's how he got started. How many of you actually like go back and look up who you're listening to, who you're getting your content, and find their origin story? Mika Long, what's up? Taryn, I love LinkedIn. What's up, Johnny? E Pimp. Took my course as Marlene. What's up, Sarah? Now? So, just, you know, there, there's, there's example after example, like um, Gary V. How did he get his start? Selling wine. No, nope, not selling wine. Dealing with customers in person every day for years. When you become really good out here in the real world, I mean, there, there's, there's literally thousands of businesses that have a website, but they make all their money out here. And if you want to do that, you got to like make a decision because I'm kind of in that spot right now because I could do so many things. And I was like, okay, I need to pare this down and I need to really focus because um, there's so much money out here. It's kind of sick. Broderick, you do. Tone Lee, what's up? Oh, that's funny. So how many of you here want to be good at something? And how many of you have made a decision to be good at something? 
Stop it, Prince. <laughs> Pretty much, you can make a lot of money lo locally, Stefan. And that's kind of one of the things, because uh, this morning I was watching this video, this guy talking about his LLC structure, and there were some things in there he said that I, I'm not going to say he lied. I'm going to say he got confused because a person and only a person can own an S Corp. So that there was some just some some craziness that was going on with that. But he was putting out this information because a lot of people want to know how do you create an LLC taxation and all this. But so many people aren't making money. And they want this information because it's a way to emotionally masturbate as if you're doing something to move your business forward. Uh, let's see. My, oh, thanks. When I do a podcast, I, I got a fundamental rule, and I'm actually going to talk about this, too. And this, this really fits into the topic. I have done a little podcasting, but not enough to create a course on it. And part of that is, you know, I've had like a few years of podcasting experience, but I never really focused on it. And I don't feel that I have enough information to create a course. I can tell people what I did, but to create a course, I'm not done. done I'm not going to do that, which kind of brings me to the point of what a lot of people do in this Internet space. They will go out, get some knowledge for two weeks, three weeks, six weeks, and then they'll start teaching. Not bad, but when your knowledge is like that, that thick, you really can't charge that much. And I remember this one girl, and she got away with it for a while. She was charging five, seven thousand dollars to create videos for companies. She was pretty. Her website was phenomenal, but she didn't know what she was doing. <laughs> she did not know what she was doing. It was just like, you're kidding me. And they finally caught up with her and she went away. Invest the time in becoming very good at what you teach. Like uh, the YouTube stuff. Uh, one of the reasons that, and there will be another YouTube course that's coming, but YouTube is changing so fast that it's just like, okay, by the time I create this course, then a lot of this information will not be relevant. It won't really help be helpful. So what I'm trying to do is create something that's going to have long-term impact. And regardless of what YouTube does, and like I said, I've, I've talked about it, it's going to be seven-figure content. Because right now, I am not doing what YouTube wants me to do. I'm, I'm getting ready to start. Last night was one of the first moves, like moving to Atlanta. That trends very well. Why? I don't know. A lot of people want to move to Atlanta. And the next video I'm going to probably do this weekend is moving to Atlanta. Should you rent? Should you buy? Or should you Airbnb? I actually know someone who came here for five months, stayed in the Airbnb. It was cheaper than an apartment. And it was furnished and everything. So it was kind of wild. So we'll be talking about that stuff. But you have people who and understand you want to make money. You want to be paid. You want to go ahead and get a certain level of expertise so you can make a certain level of income. I totally 100% understand that. But ask yourself this question. Would you hire you to do what you're trying to sell other people? And if you pause, if you go like, if you pause, that should tell you something. Johnny Wild, I'm trying to be good as a commercial driver. Because the, the thing is, you truck drivers have this unique perspective of you're driving. It's like if I was a truck driver and I wanted to make some extra money, this is what I would do. I would set up a headphone because trucks are loud. So I would help I set up a headphone, get a good mic, and I would do the trucker's podcast. And I would podcast as I'm driving. Because, you know, you're driving for hours, so you do an hour podcast. It ain't nothing for you to talk for an hour and just put the camera on the road and do that. Because 
there's, there's just not a lot that you can do while you're in that truck. You can't do a physical product business. It'd be very challenging. Um, you have unique challenges. Miami Ghost, me good now, always aspiring to be better and excellent in other areas. Uh, D. Lee, it's really hard to teach someone to evaluate products and make resale judgment calls on the spot. Well, I don't. I disagree with that, but I will say that if you're going to do resale, you need to be doing resale. One of the reasons that I can still, <clears throat> and I haven't seriously done resale 2009. I'm still really good at it. Whenever I sell something, I have some around the house. But once again, there's a certain paradigm. I do not buy stuff that's not name brand because I know if I want to sell it in the future, it's going to be easier to sell if it's name brand. I don't, I don't, I shop at Target, but anything that I get that is above a certain price point, I buy it name brand so I can resell it for at least 50% of its value in the future, except for TVs. Um, TVs, I don't, it's just, you're not going to be able to like my television that I paid 21, 2200 bucks for like three years ago. There's a bigger, better television for 1500. So I could not even, I could probably sell that television realistically for four or 500 bucks. Realistically. And that price is dropping every day. E-Pimp, I'm good at stuff. What are you good at? Because one of the things we do here is you got to talk about what you're good at. Because it's like, I'm good at stuff. What stuff? So that's subjective. We can't really do nothing like that. What are you good at? Uh, what about getting a resale certificate in your state? Detson, you're funny. Tell I try to focus on one new skill at a time and, and master it, and it can be hard due to distractions. It can be very hard. It can be very hard. Project people are moving to Texas like crazy. That's funny. Uh, Danielle, morning from Pittsburgh. What's up, charlatan? Heck yes, Airbnb. <laughs> Gamerix James Archer only lives in them? I did not know that. That's really interesting. D. Lee, I, all right, I don't resell anymore. I haven't resold anything since 2009. A lot of y'all own that Airbnb tip. That's interesting. Jay Fleming. Yeah, because I, I really don't know. I mean, I just know that a lot of stuff he said was what I call first layer advice. This is stuff that you can Google. This is stuff that you can find out. But see... Like I tell you, with the Naked LLC, anyone can create an LLC, go to state, and you got an LLC. But it's the nuance. It's the articles of organization. It's the things that just mean so much in knowing the tax. There, there's so many nuances that you can't really train someone in a 30-minute or a 17-minute video the nuances. Like, I have a whole course that teaches you how to design the LLCs. And we go from, why are you starting this company? What's your ultimate end goal? I mean, a person, a real, a person who does LLCs for a living, who's really good, is going to ask you a bunch of questions. They're just not going to take 600 bucks. Also, a person who's really good at LLCs is going to charge you a lot of money because they're going to put up your estate structure in a certain way because how you set up the holding company and I, I just heard kind of stuff, and I was just like, I'm not going to say anything because this is one of the things. This person is very well liked. And we live in an age where my facts do not trump people's emotions. So I would have got attacked if I came in there and tried to tell the truth. They didn't want to hear it. They were like, yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Um, this, this, this. And I'm just like, stay away. Because as long as things are good, this is fine. You never get sued. It's no harm done, but you get sued or you have some real assets. It's going to be problematic. My me. Yeah. I mean, once again, when you become good at truck driving, let's say, you know, you're a 20 year truck driver. And I told a client this, 
you know more than you think you know because you forgot and you do so many things on autopilot. So like me with my courses, I'm having to get more granular, which is why it's taking so long to put stuff together because I may go ahead and put in this one module right, but for someone who has no clue to anything, I might need to put in three or four more modules so they fully get it and like the why and the how and all this other stuff. But yeah, if you just sit down and press yourself, you can make money doing virtually anything today. Anything. It's, it's like one of the best times in America and the world to be alive. Uh, yeah, because the thing is, Johnny, you got to be really consistent with it. And I've seen a lot of trucking channels. There's a lot of people who get into it. If you got like 20 years of experience and you could tell noobs a lot of stuff. Okay. Buy quality and sell quality, pretty much. What's up, Yolanda? How to scale up floor care? What are you talking about, D, really? Honey Bunny, I'm good at accounting, reselling, organizing. Barry Bishop, I'm good at art. Miami Ghost Chronicles, Glenda, and I learned selling between 1981 to 2004. Talk about moving the cheese. Do you think the same methods work or are they totally changed in the 21st century? One of the things you must realize about selling, you're not selling to an app, you're not selling to Facebook, you're selling to people. We as people have not changed. Recently, I started using some old ads. I mean, some of my Facebook, some of my Craigslist accounts are like 15 years old. And I would go in there and they, they have all these old ads. They're, you know, so I would just click one, load it up, see what happens, results. Good techniques don't fade. People are still people. Like, let's let's jump into this Me Too movement, right? You think certain dudes are going to stop feeling on butts, grabbing breasts because of this Me Too movement? You think it's not going to happen? Because I submit you've not seen one really handsome dude cut up in this Me Too movement. It's been Al Franken. He looks like, you know, your favorite uncle. It's always been that guy that a lot of women just will say no to. But the guy that a lot of women will say yes to, he ain't getting caught up in this Me Too movie. He's going to be grabbing breasts. He's going to be doing highly inappropriate things. And he's going to get this. <laughs> You're so crazy. Stop it, Carl. Stop it. Stop it. You want to go to lunch? So the core principles, and like I said, a lot of this first layer knowledge stuff fails because everyone knows it and everyone thinks they know more than they know. But deep knowledge it ain't going, it's never going anywhere. Oh, it's very different. I mean, a lot of people don't set them up right. D. Lee, my father, I, I don't watch your channel like that. I'm a reseller and fix PCs. Well, I haven't talked about reselling in like five, six years, man. Well, no, that's 2013. Yeah, it's been a long time. Uh, I got out of the resale content because... It all focused on eBay and Amazon FBA. And Amazon FBA is really trending. If you start a YouTube channel and you're good at Amazon FBA, you can make this one cat. And I know he didn't buy it from his Amazon FBA money. He bought it from selling courses. He just bought a brand new um, Lambo. His course is 800 bucks. I uh, went ahead and I checked out his numbers. His website was getting 150. I'm, I'm going to do the math for you. He's getting like, all right, come on. Let's get to the calculator. So you see the calculator. All right. So he was getting 200,000 hits per month, right? So you see 200, right? So this is what you do. Then you go minus 98%, which leaves 4,000 sales, right? Doesn't look like a lot. But 4,000 times 789 is 3.1 million. So if 2% of his traffic converts, he's made millions per month 
from his course. I know how he got the Lambo. It ain't from his business because, see, the thing is, if his business was that hot, he would have had the Lambo before he created the course. The fact that these Lambos are bought after they create these courses and the Lambos come with about three, four, five months after they create the courses kind of tells me where they're getting money. Now, they ain't doing nothing legal. They ain't doing nothing wrong. It's just you make more money from selling the course than you actually make from your actual business. Nothing wrong with that. It's just people are not disclosing that little fact. Uh, I'm quite sure his course is amazing. You know, the reviews are awesome. It is what it is. But once again, people kind of just see what they want to see. E-Pimp, like technical writing, database product development, CAD, finite element analysis. Well, once again, you got to figure out how you can make your thing. Like take Ellen. Everyone knows who Ellen DeGeneres is, right? What is Ellen's number one talent? Just somebody guess real quick before I tell you. What is Ellen DeGeneres' number one talent? Uh, Randall Riley. I'm a good negotiation. People always call me when they need prices or matters negotiated. How can I become an expert at this? I haven't had any training. It comes naturally. All right, Randall. Let's see. Good Lord. You need to start selling some stuff. If you're good at negotiating, you need to find a physical product and start selling it where your negotiating skills impact you directly. Sure thing, Andre. What's up, Zola? Uh, what's the way to sell without Facebook, YouTube, Amazon? Pick up the phone. DM people. Call people. Get leads. There are millions of people doing this every day. Dang. I could sort a thousand pearls in 30 minutes for size and color and weight. That's very specialized knowledge. Stefan, I'm good at fixing computers, but I think my skills are best serving enterprises. You're, you're, you're right, because most folks don't even have computers now. <laughs> Sky Belvin, I appreciate it. Broderick. Uh, Broderick, this is what you do. You you throw out a price and see if it sells. That's called direct response marketing. If it didn't, because you, you can always go up, you can always go down. Just start, you know, putting out a price. I know, it's a big question. Uh, Diana Thompson, there's someone who created an orchard course and was making $10,000 a month from this. So, uh, Getting new clients to clean their floors like carpet cleaning and stripping floors instead of and replacing their floors. Angie's List, uh, Craig's List, you, you, if you're going to be in the service business, you need to spend 70% of your time marketing your business. Go she that I'm good at talking. Start a podcast. Start a YouTube channel. What's up, Albert? My ex is a jerk, but he gets away from being a jerk because he's both attractive and has several successful businesses. <laughs> uh huh, Jay Fleming. Yep, that's the one. And Jay Fleming, you'll notice that he did not get that a few months ago. He got that after he's been selling his course for four or five months. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but the thing is people are so caught up in, well, because he's a real nice guy, and no one said anything about Ellen. Ellen's number one talent is likability. People just like her. She's non-offensive. People just like her. It's like a gift. Here's Ellen. Oh, hey, Ellen. She's just very likable. That You can make money by just being a likable person. Sky Brevin, the founder of Snapchat, said it's not about working hard or even about working smart. It's about working the system, replicating patterns and blueprints just that way. That's working for me. Pretty much like the, the, the Lambo. He is not doing anything wrong or nefarious. He's just working the system. Amazon FBA, 
is a very hot keyword because what is Amazon FBA? You can make a lot of money sitting on your butt. That's the dream. He's selling the dream. He's using the system. I just philosophically know what's going to happen to most people who do Amazon FBA and they're going to fail. And philosophically, I'm just not going to create a course. I'm not going to mess with it. That's just me. That's my personal principles. Uh, some people say I'm crazy for not taking advantage of people or you know, get exploiting that. Like uh, the thing with Bitcoin, like, well, you know, you're so smart. Why don't you short it? And one of the things about me, I know how to make money the right way. So I don't have to cheat. I don't have to scam. I don't have to take shortcuts. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Because if you're going to short Bitcoin, guess what? You have to hold a Bitcoin position unless you're in one of those future funds. Uh, Johnny, I started a business as a sole proprietor. You can change it any day you want to. I would suggest you do it now. Oh, you're going to have to find it. I'm not giving him any leads, Architecture Whisperer. You're good at dancing. Ellen likes to talk. Comedian. Uh, honey, honey, great people skills. People just like Ellen. Ellen came out as gay like 20 years ago, and people still like, oh, she's gay, no problem. And there are other people in other industries, they come out as gay, they got blacklisted. Uh, Taryn, Ellen makes people feel good. Uh, once again, people like her. She has charisma and can talk to anyone. People like her. Being likable, Trey Allen. That's her number one gift. People just like her. Uh, let's see. Sir, I did a truck that did his tracks. It's up in LLC for him. Set him up with his own authority. It's a lot of work, and I'm an accountant by trade, government management background. Uh, Sir, and I, if you could set up LLCs correctly and learn how to talk to people, because typically an attorney or a CPA will charge three to six hundred bucks to set up an LLC. If you want to set up holding companies and you get into these other entities and trust and stuff, you can charge a lot more. What's up, Benjamin? <laughs> Quentin Comedy. Yep, Miss Orchard Girls. I mean, you can make money, but the thing is, people are kind of confused to what to do because what if it doesn't work out? So if it doesn't work out, I'm not going to even start it. Uh, Lance Brown Morning. I'm good at designing T-shirts, but I've only sold one T-shirt online, sold over... 100 in person in a short time. Uh, this is what you do. You you sell them in person and you get your online game together. Just to let you know, creating an online personality, an online brand is very difficult because let's say this hat, right? Very low trust is needed to buy this hat. It was 25 bucks. The physical product. You, if it ain't what it is, you can send it back. But when you're creating a personal brand, it's literally going to take you a year or two to create enough influence and trust that you can actually sell stuff. Except in the case of the White Lambo, he did it September. September, October, November, December. Yeah, he did that very quickly. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dev, really affiliate marketing, as I've been told by two people, I trust their opinion, is one of the best ways to start a business with no money. You hate meetings, but I'm here. Uh, Taryn, possible there are people killing the t-shirt game. Yes, they are. So... Big, big takeaway is you got to believe in yourself. A lot of people don't believe in themselves. That's why they will not invest a lot of time in learning something new. The original lady pimp. So you can succeed in sales being ethical. Yes. I have a problem, I have a problem selling people things that they don't need or can't afford. You, your problem isn't that. Your problem is you don't believe in your product. 
Once you believe in your product and you know that it can serve people and can help people, that will disappear. So you need to find something that you believe in. Miami goes, what do you think about talking for free or offering workshops at local library? Uh, what's his name? Flat Out. Um, he's He's got a radio show. He started here on YouTube with some really quick editing because his videos were like, it was three seconds edits. He's like this, this, this. Um, he's a pastor. He's he's one of those religious guys. He started off that he started off Miami Ghost just like that, doing it for free. Oh uh, yes, getting big online is becoming. It, it's really it depends on what you talk about. Uh, the way the YouTube algorithm works is like. Uh, let's see. Let me check it real quick. You will see me doing more what's going on in Atlanta stuff because one of the things that I don't do for YouTube is create searchable content. So this before you move to Atlanta is already trending nicely because it's only been up for 12 hours and it's got almost a thousand views. That's, so that one's gonna pop nice. You'll, you'll see more content like that. Okay. Willie Moore Jr., thank you. He started here on YouTube. Justin, T um, Justin Bieber started here on YouTube. A lot of these folks started doing stuff for free for a long time. So that, that's one of the things you can do because if you want to make a lot of money and let's just kind of, you know, I'm not even going to beat up on the hustle porn guys because one of the reasons that Amazon FB works so well is if you can become good at it, you don't have to work and you can make a lot of money. And I predict that that's going to go away in a few years because Amazon doesn't need all the sellers that it has. What's up, Dwayne? Um, Bonzi New. What's the Amazon pitfall that make most people fail? Lack of capital. That's pretty much the primary reason because everyone that I know that did Amazon FBA and that did it real well and did it big had a nice income before they started doing Amazon FBA. That's the key and that a lot of people don't tell you because you have someone who has like a thousand bucks and they're like, oh, 500 to a thousand bucks. That's all you need. Right. Then you go out and you find this product and you put it up on Amazon. Ten years ago, probably worked very easily every day. And this is one of the problems with Amazon FBA. Everyone's trying to chase the same little um, unicorn. Small, durable, won't break cheap so you've got millions of people looking for those products so when they find them you have millions of people that create this very competitive niches i have seen categories just plummet on amazon and i'm just a shopper oh and the little things they do like one of my clients was telling me that Amazon now has this thing where you can actually get a refund before you even return it. That's really interesting. Uh, Honey Bunny, eBay is going to change drastically again in the next year or two as well. I think a lot of resellers are going to lose their shirts. They dropped their contract with PayPal. I, I keep hearing about that. Uh, what exactly is that about? Because one of the things that I did, and I'm typically really way ahead of other people, which is why I look like the crazy dude in the building, like, you know, Amazon, eBay is making money for me now, Glenn. And so, you know, F you. you. You don't know what you're talking about, right? And I got to a point where I had a six-figure per month eBay business. So a lot of things that I went through, a lot of folks who are well under 100K, 130K a month just don't go through. But ultimately, it catches up with them. Uh, I don't know, Johnny.
your project management is a big thing. Totally. When you say no, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's going to pop because it is part of a trend. <clears throat> it's not getting ahead of a trend. It's being part of a trend. The way YouTube works, it, let's say Star Wars. When during the three or four month window when, before Star Wars come out and they're talking about Star Wars, there's all these blogs. If you can put out content with keyworded Star Wars very well, it's going to pop because that's what people are talking about. Uh, YouTube's become very trend oriented, which is a big problem because I'm not a trendy guy. Okay, let's see. Remove. They're switching to another payment provider. I can't remember the name of the new company. It starts with a A. They're phasing PayPal. Really? <clears throat> That's interesting. I didn't know. That. Dang. That's going to be big because a lot of people just aren't honest, honest like they used to be. A lot of people are going to scam a lot of buyer uh, sellers. Uh, Rashida, actually, I just started going into people's background. Love use. I use LinkedIn to find a job, but I don't think they use it the way you brought it up. I want to be good at something and make that decision. There are, in this field of um, <clears throat> brand consulting, you know, on creating a brand, look, feel your brand, there are so many young women who are making six figures, sometimes per month, helping companies deal with their brand. They're not selling a product, they're consulting. They're like, well, this is what you need to do. This is the colors you need to do. Uh, there are so many ways. And Rashida, when you start going into people's backgrounds, you'll see people like um, one person someone mentioned. He's one of the Lambo dudes. He was on Bitcoin. He was on Shopify. And he was on eBay. Now, this is good as long as those keywords still trend well. But the minute those keywords stop trending well, their channels are going to drop. I've seen people just lose it. Miami Ghost Products. I sold on Amazon since late 1990s. Just books, saw it evolve and cannibalize the sellers, especially after you give them your marketing stats on a great selling product. I had a client that was selling a product $2,000 a day of this product. So that's like 60, 70 grand a month, this one product. And... They lost the buy box and it went down to nothing overnight. Wow, PayPal is a lot of fraud. No wonder they've become so money, so so nice. Saving money is a business. Wow. See, y'all educate me on this. I because one of the, one of my things that I wanted to do was become a one hundred percent self-fulfilling factory and what I mean by that is I create my own products when I was in resale the big thing that always got me if I got a great product that was selling some would always happen uh, the price would change the quality would change I couldn't get it it was just frustrating so I was like I want to be in a situation where I create my own products so I don't have that problem and it's taking me a long time to get here that's funny Terra Impossible, I hate Amazon. I found a profitable niche and I was making hundreds of thousands and Amazon shut me down and started selling my product. That's why I hate, hesitate to start another business. Now, Terra Impossible, you just said something that a lot of Amazon people would, wouldn't want to breathe because that has happened to a lot of people. A lot. And that's the thing. Because I want you to think about it. People kind of justified, well, let me go back. When I was selling office furniture, we had wholesalers, real wholesalers. That only sold to dealers. They didn't sell to the, you know, the customer. They only sold to us. And we felt that if they start selling to the public, we weren't going to do business with them. But people have justified in their mind, that like Amazon selling it. Well, just I'm going to compete with that. You can't compete with Amazon. Well, Taryn, one of the things, and this this is something that happens, and this is why I put out all of the content about no eBay, no Amazon, 
Well, remember when I said earlier that when people become good at something, they don't want to let it go? Even when it says, it's like staying in a bad relationship. Because you know it and you know getting another relationship is going to be a lot of work. So you just stay in that bad relationship. Cal Sneed, isn't that why L.L. Bean had to change their return policy? I saw that. Because people were bringing stuff in that was 10 years old at expecting a full ref refund. Yes, Cal Sneed. People, this kind of gets into the larger segment of society. Most people are poor. Most of the United States of America is a few paychecks away from being homeless. This is fact. So people are feeling the pressure and you have people who are just doing a lot of unethical stuff to make ends meet. Sassy Moxie, biographies are great. What I like to do is I like to go back and find their origin story. Like Lewis Howes. He, he remained consistent. He did not get into all this other stuff. Gary V, you know his story. A lot of these Lambo guys, you can't really find out much about them. You can find out nothing about them. It's really interesting. Most companies fail. Yeah, good tech does. Uh, Terra Impossible, if you want to share, you don't have to. How much money were you making per year profit? Because uh, this is my whole thing. I'm all about the control because I could have made more money on Amazon. And I'm looking in, into the long game because one of the things I did, I was making a lot of money from Amazon selling my book. It was on there for $99. I was selling like 30 a day. And then I just started to see all these costs and stuff. And one, without Amazon, would I have sold this many books? Probably not. Two, but the fees were horrendous. $99, I got 56 out of a $99 sale. I got 56. They charged me for positioning. They charged me for the printing of the book. And if I ordered the books myself, it was only like $3.60 to print up and ship to someone. So that was kind of one of my issues and Understand building your own platform, building your own business, building your own customer base is a long and arduous process. But once you build it, people can't take that away from you or an algorithm change doesn't wreck your business. What? All right. Let's see. What the heck? There we go. Mike C. Pretty much. Amazon took her traffic and tossed it to the curb. Yeah, they're doing this all day. That's wild, Tonya. So you're around 135,000. What else were you doing? Do you like 100% dependent upon Amazon or do, were you doing other stuff? Because this is the thing. Uh, I had a client that was doing like 2.5 million a year on Amazon. And then when they came in, I think they're currently doing probably 1 million, but with reduced margins. Charlton, Walmart created the beast years ago during their major growth phase. They were refund items. They never sold to capture new business. Wow, I didn't know that. So you got a lot of stuff here because essentially you can make money if you decide to make money. You know, a lot of people think the mindset course and all the stuff is just woo woo. When I was in that boarding house and before I got the job at Rent a Crate, I did in six weeks. What I couldn't do in two and a half years because I changed my mindset. That's just how important it is. And you get people who become infantized by certain platforms like these YouTubers. Like I'm seeing YouTube shift again because 
I put up a video and I got like 18 videos that are recommended because a lot of people are dropping out of YouTube because of the demonetization. They're really dropping out. In 2009, people, you know what people did YouTube? They get a banner. They wanted to make YouTube partners so they can get a fancy banner. A banner, not money, just they wanted the banner more than they wanted the money. Wow, Taryn. I was 100% dependent. I just found a really good niche and I was the only one and I was utilizing SEO. How long did it take you to recover? Because, you know, I, I thank you for your honesty because a lot of people, this has happened to people who are still promoting Amazon FBA. They're still promoting it even though Amazon FBA has just knocked them out the frame because they're selling a the course. Stop it, E-Pimp. Wow, I fell into it by accident while I was in college. I quit college to really put my time into it. I was naive. I wish I would not put my entire future into one basket. All right, Terry. Well, this is one thing. So obviously you're still pretty young. Take what you learn from that and build your own website. Because if you were moving that much product with SEO, you got skills. Sure does, Leonard. Well, I mean, yeah, you were hurt because you got betrayed. <laughs> you got betrayed. I mean, yeah, it's going to hurt. But I want you to think about it. You're making 135 Gs a year as a college student. That's strong. Even though with Amazon, that's still strong. I mean, you, you got to figure out something else. Totally, I believe Amazon's going to become like eBay where the big guy eventually pushes up. Oh, that's already happening. That's already happening. What's up, Derek? Because, you know, this this is one of the real things here. You know, like I want to say thanks, Sharon, uh, Taryn, again for sharing her experience because a lot of people, they won't say this. It's kind of like Trump. Trump is Trump is painting on, Trump's pissing on the walls. He's doing stuff. He's got clowns up in the White House and people are like, there ain't nothing here to see. They just will, that's how a lot of people treat Amazon. Even when Amazon screws them, they're still like, Amazon FBA. And that, that's just crazy. That's just really, really crazy. And one of the reasons that I think that you should become self-sufficient, because I remember people were having this conversation about me in the forum. And it's just like, he doesn't want to be dependent on these platforms. Uh, Glendon's crazy for not using Amazon. I'm just sitting there like, okay. They ain't saying that now. Yeah, uh, what you should do, and like I said, and I don't normally tell people to do this. Since you already know how Amazon works, I wouldn't open up one account. I would open up three or four. And I would, and I would not sell all the same products. I would open up three or four accounts and run different products through different accounts. What's up, Roger? Awesome. What's up, AKW Beats? So... There's a lot of ways that you can make money, but you got to get, you got to let the immediate gratification go. Uh, my YouTube channel, I did not make money for uh, about five months and I was working it full time. Now, full disclosure, I wasn't sleeping on someone's sofa. I had money in the bank. We just liquidated two warehouses of product and I was living, uh, I put myself on a self-imposed budget of 1500 bucks a month. And I gave myself two years to make it work. What's up, Ross? Miami Ghost. Amazon charges for those free giveaways? I did not know that. Tanya. Oh, yeah, he did. He said he, Amazon, Amazon suspended him. Amazon suspended him. He's doing his stuff with Facebook advertising and his own website. So, you know, you've got that going on. Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot of us who, and this is something else too. Everyone that I know that has been through the fire, because Taryn will say you've been through the fire, and you hop back in. Um, his name is Spear. He's been through the fire. 
Um, Cody Hawk's been through the fire. Um, a lot of folks who know how to make significant money without Bitcoin are saying stay away from Bitcoin. Yet there's a whole nother group of people who are who who live, who breathe, who eat Bitcoin. They know everything about it. They watch every video. And here's another secret. If you want to make money with Bitcoin, start a YouTube channel talking about Bitcoin favorably. I have seen these channels blow up in the last six months. And I wonder how long they're going to sustain this momentum. Because I know one of them, he's doing about 80K a month in that sense. And I know why. Because these ICOs, these Bitcoin platforms are running ads on his channel. Oh, Amazon is ruthless. They make no doubt about it. Um, no, I'm not talking about Gary Vee because one of the things that I like to do is create businesses that make money very quickly. You just don't make major money very quickly. Uh, Gary Vee is talking to his audience, which is a bunch of kids, 16 to about 24. My audience is older. They ain't got time to wait around. <laughs> for 10 years they don't have time i got a lot of people uh from the live experience everyone that came in here was over 30 except for one guy the original lady pimp yeah because a lot of people i know this happens and they will not talk about it mike see amazon is full of launch your own e-commerce store on woocommerce and magento what do you mean you don't truly own your Shopify store? Get into that. See, we got all these folks who are just dropping knowledge. Yeah, those DBA videos make me laugh because people just think Amazon is going to always be Amazon. Walmart is about to take them out. That's interesting. You can use uh, like uh, the white Lambo guy. We're not saying names because I'm not trying to get me in traffic. He used YouTube to sell his courses. And he gets, now the thing is, he used YouTube to sell his courses. He gets paid by YouTube. And he's hit that magic. Because the thing is, all right, I'm 51 years old. I'm supposed to have money. That's not really exciting. It really isn't. But someone who's 21, 22, got a Lambo and all this other stuff, that's way more exciting than to me. And I already know it. That's why I don't even try to compete with those guys. Uh, Taryn, they're operating a platform that's crazy. I've been watching it, but I need to in be independent, so I don't even want to work with Walmart. Like Linda said, I've been leveling up my SEO skills. Iron Death Stred Saint 20? What is that? Oh, very much so, Mike C. Very much. Walmart will never take out Amazon. I don't know about that. And I say that because Amazon has moved into Walmart's ter turf. Walmart is the number one company by sales in the world of physical products. And Amazon has, you know, with their purchase of Whole Foods, they've slipped into Walmart's territory because, you know, I know this sounds crazy, but Walmart still looks, um, Walmart still makes like $500 billion and Amazon only makes like one. So I don't know about that. We'll see. Charlestown, I'm 56, but I look 21. You go ahead, boy. Thriller AI, Shopify hosts the store, so you really don't have full control. Hmm. You're really, you're literally paying rent to run the Shopify store. I see. What's up, regular web guy? Stadium, I'm 24. Well, this is one of the things. Uh, I feel that you should reward yourself. And if you're making serious money, that's not really going to hurt you. I know that's kind of crazy coming from me. 
Honey Bunny, Whole Foods has declined with their business models since the Amazon purchase. They were complaints of empty shelves and crying employees due to drop in morale. Did I not say I hope that Amazon does not kill Whole Foods? Looks like that's happening. I have not been to Whole Foods since they purchased them. I don't, I don't think it's been intentional. Mike, see, if you violate Shopify's TOS, you will get kicked off. Rarely happens, but it happens at least with WooCommerce and Magento. You fully own it and control it. All right, that's deep. That is really, really deep. All right, so what we're going to do today, just, uh, no, we're not doing that one. All right, so let's see. All right, what I'm going to do for this, because I'm adding some stuff. So let's see. Let's go here. Asking for the money. I've actually renamed this course. I'm going to put in a lot more stuff here. Uh, I was going to stop this course at a few, like a few more modules, but I'm going to go deeper. So... Let's see, let's put, what are we gonna do? We're gonna make this juicy. We're gonna make it very juicy. Come on. So we're gonna hit the coupons. All right, so we're gonna do 75% off. We're going to peg it at 50. And the code is going to be ask for the money. So I'm going to do a ha ha. I kind of got something here. So the day for this course. Come on. And then we're going to do a bundle. And it's going to be the Never Broke Action Pack. Yes. So it's below the video. It's going to be 75% off. And it's going to be ask for the money uh, let me make sure that I have that correct because Patty's off today so I need to make sure that this is correct before I bounce so I got a lot yeah so the code is going to be 75% off today ask for the money that's the code it's real simple lowercase and you get 70% off of the never broke action pack which includes let's go here I'm going to do something a little different uh, asking for the money how to be a, a I gotta change that I was I was rushing this morning but asking for the money we're going to be talking about this because I did put so I thought how to be a consultant in there let's see there we go let's edit this while I'm thinking about it There we go. And Uber salesperson. And Uber is like really, really good. And yeah, how to be a consultant and make bank. So I'm going to expand this section with a lot of the stuff I talked about in this video and get into the nitty gritty and the details on how to do it, how to make that money. Because you can start off with probably a month or two of training and make about 1500 2000 a month as a consultant. 
So I'm going to teach you how to do it, how to set it up, and all the other stuff. So you should have this course under the video. You can apply 75% code, ask for the money today, and you can uh, start winning. All right. Let's see. Ma Malado, Walmart and Amazon will have Jack Ma's version of the business to compete with. I think that's real. I think that's going to be a big, big part of it because the world's catching up with the United States. I've been into a couple of Whole Foods recently and the look and the vibe of it has changed, really. I started the Shopify store before Amazon. Like I said, I felt like I was paying rent. I, I, hey, I am not sending no traffic to nobody. The white Lambo guy. That's who That's who he'll be known. Uh, shotgunning. Like, hey, Glenn, does taking out 10 Gs out of your account alert the feds? Yep. They hit you if you take 10,000 out. They hit you if you put 10,000 in. They hit you if you put 9,500 in because it looks like you're trying to avoid the $10,000 limit. Sure do. Wow. That's sad. <laughs> no, he's actually a kid. What's up, Wild Jones Report? Um, Maya Mitchell Jones, I think offline, online workflows are changing, should change. The Chinese got it. FB and Amazon use some of the concepts that's still backwards. That's wild. All right, so you got your deal today. Go ahead and grab it. And for some of you, I will just go ahead and all righty. There we go. It's asking for the money. That's going to be probably going to keep adding stuff to this. So oh, there you go. Grab that. And um, I will be doing more stuff next week, adding more stuff. I got to do some videos this weekend. This is wild. Wow, wow, wow. All right. So you folks have a good weekend. Understand that you can make money on your own without these platforms. It's going to be a lot of work. And I know people will tell you, hey, why not? I should be able to do this, right? And go ahead and use the platforms, but still build your own thing. Because I'm here to tell you, when these platforms betray you because those gains ain't loyal, those platforms ain't loyal, it hurts. And it hurts deeply because you're addicted to these platforms. And when they move all that stuff away, they change your life. So use the platforms, but still still work on your own stuff. Build something that's yours. And once again, you can get the Never Broke Action Pack and use the code Ask for the Money, all lowercase, and you can get it. So with that, I will see you guys Monday. Have a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves, because I am out.